Kevin Hart is more of an acquired taste. You either really like him or you just frown at the mere sound of his name. For some people, he's one of the most amazingly quick-witted men in the world of comedy. Whereas to others, he may seem to be repetitive with his jokes and rather lame most of the times. Well, we can't complain because like it or not, that's his style. And just like any other comedian, Kevin Hart too has a very distinct way of making people laugh which is insanely amusing to many people. Welcome to watchtop10.com and today's video is about the biggest name in the world of stand-up comedy. And in this video, we will tell you 10 things you didn't know about Kevin Hart. Watch this video till the end because the last point will surprise you. Mm, my name's Don Cheeto and I'm mad because I'm not Iron Man. I'm the Black Iron Man and Stop I'm talking, man. Mm, I squeak when I go. Take it easy. <laughs> Number 10. During a struggling period, Kevin Hart used to be a shoe salesman. Yes, that's true and although there are slim chances of this being anyone's dream job, it does help you make the two ends meet in desperate situations. If anything, this just brings us to respect Kevin Hart more because regardless of how irresponsible Kevin Hart may be, he chose hard work over dodgy business and easy money. Sometimes destiny works in interesting ways because it was there at the shoe shop where his co-workers convinced him to take up comedy professionally considering how much he made them laugh. And this girl he worked with and actually had a thing for convinced him to perform at one of the local comedy clubs. He did exactly as suggested by this pretty lady and people were hysterical beyond comprehension. After that, there was no stopping him and his jokes. My city one more time. Philadelphia, make some fucking noise! Number 9. Initially, Kevin Hart actually used comedy as a way to deal with pain and stress. Yup, sometimes humor reflects a joyful childhood and happy conditions, but other times it's just more of a defense mechanism. He was trying to make people laugh in order to feel better about himself. His father was a drug addict who even went on to steal a $20 bill from his birthday presents to meet his cocaine requirements. Eventually, Kevin's father ended up in jail, leaving him scarred and worried about the family. He dealt with this by making everyone laugh. Hello everybody and welcome to NWA Airlines. Here at NWA, safety is a very important part of flying. But I mean, come on, let's be real. If something goes wrong, we're all going down, right? <laughs> Number 8. There's an app dedicated to his not-so-tall height. If mocking himself in stand-up comedy didn't quite satisfy him, he went on to launching an app pertaining to his short-heightedness. Little Jumpman is an app that Kevin Hart designed. It's a lot like the game Pappy App. Well, the app is supposed to be a vertically challenged game of skill that will make you laugh and cry with Kevin as he reaches for the sky. Within the game, players have heart leap from platforms to succeed in numerous levels. It's an extremely involving game, perhaps it's financially rewarding for him too, but it's almost surprising because Hollywood actors very seldom mock themselves for the love of money. It's literally extraordinary. Number 7. He can publicly take off his clothes but can't wear someone else's boxing gloves because he's paranoid about other people's sweat. Okay, so he's a bit weird in reality as well. Shall we call him overly hygiene conscious or someone who is suffering from a mild form of OCD? Not quite sure there. 
but we have absolutely no clue what on earth is that all about his nudity stunt happened outside a boxing gym in tarzana california as you might know already this was when he was changing into his workout clothes just that he decided to do it publicly and the glove incident oh well i suppose you'll have to read up on that because it's an understatement to say he's just paranoid cake is my weakness along with speed and strength huh strength is my weakness hey can i quick question how number 6 He spent all his first six-figure income on a watch. So it's common for people to go and start buying properties with their first big paycheck, but investing everything into a watch even if it's at the cost of being left penniless, that does seriously leave you wondering. Surprisingly, Kevin Hart decided to spend a staggering $150,000 on a watch because he thought people would look at him differently and it would be a game changer. Sadly, nobody noticed it. He said in one of his interviews that nobody even glanced at it. So I took it back, but that was then my friend. Now He's got one of the most expensive watch collections in the world with watches over millions of dollars. Good for you Kevin. We just hope it's no longer for validation. How do it? How hard can it be? It's a helicopter. You you press a button, the uh they going to spin. Okay, then after that I got my the the lever. That's how you that's how you get in the forward backward action. Number 5. He paid one of his closest friends $25,000 for losing weight. Yes, Kevin was actually concerned that one of his friends Wayne was really overweight and it was getting worse with every passing day to the extent that Wayne couldn't sleep anymore due to breathing issues driven by his weight. To which Kevin Hart said, "I bet him he couldn't lose 60 pounds." And if he lost, he'd have to pay me a grand. I was happy to lose that money. Well, another possible reason why he was happy to give away the 25k for his dear friend's health may be that he's got a net worth of over 200 million dollars at present. And we're not sure if it was a big deal for him. Well, he's a friends guy as you all know. Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish also happen to be great friends and go back a long way in case you did not know. What? Huh? Let's go drive it. Do well, you learn how to drive, man? James, just get off my back and let me do me. What for you? Number 4. Kevin Hart met with a deadly car crash due to reckless driving by Jared Black. but decided to neither sue nor file an insurance claim. Hart is famous for his love for fast cars, and in August he bought a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda, and without wasting any time, he showed off the super luxury vehicle on Instagram. Unfortunately, Kevin Hart didn't have the car for much longer as the horrible car accident happened soon after his Insta post. On the 1st of September, Hart was in the passenger seat and producer Jared Black was driving the new luxury vehicle owned by Kevin. Jared accelerated on full speed, losing control of the car and meeting with almost a fatal car accident, leaving Kevin Hart and Jared Black with severe back injuries. Wow. Hey. Hey. What the hell's going on here, y'all? Man, this nigga's afraid of heights. How the hell are you going to be afraid of heights and you the damn captain? Number 3. Kevin Hart is better at basketball than you think. So being good at a sport or just randomly playing in your pastime is one thing, but it is a whole different level when you're almost as good as an NBA player. This 40-year-old multi-talented man loves basketball and he has appeared regularly in the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game, which happens every year during the All-Star Celebrity Weekend. From 2012 to 2015, 
Hart was named MVP for every single game he participated in. This was evident for both his basketball and non-basketball skills. That's quite bizarre considering his height. They say you have to be tall to be good at basketball, but this guy is out there to break some serious stereotypes. What's up? Mouse Finbar, zoologist. Number two, Kevin Hart is a tech entrepreneur. He intends on taking comedy digital, and he is serious about it. In 2017, Kevin Hart launched his own streaming app called Laugh Out Loud, which was dedicated to comedy shows. YouTube and he collaborated for a streaming service, and he also came out with the original show "What the Fit," in which Kevin Hart had a celebrity guest join him in each episode. Some of his guests included Conan O'Brien, Khloe Kardashian, and Chance the Rapper. Pretty cool, right? For example, people, I'm engaged. I'm about to get married again soon. Okay. Yes, I told my lady. I said before we get married, we gotta move. I did tell her that. Number one, his weird scandal. In 2017, Kevin was accused of having a love affair while his wife was expecting Kenzo Cash Hart, his son. Not just that, things got worse for him when someone tried to blackmail Kevin and extort money of him. Claiming he had proof of their not so appropriate arrangement, or shall we just call it an affair? It was heartbreaking when the blackmailer turned out to be one of his closest friends, actor Jonathan Todd Jackson, also known as Action Jackson. He was charged with felony extortion by threatening letter and attempted extortion. Oh dear. That may have scarred him for a while. However, the good part is that Hart later publicly apologized for his moral wrongdoing towards his wife. He and his beautiful second wife have decided to leave it in the past and move on happily. Well, in conclusion, it's safe to say that Kevin Hart is a determined actor with the focus of an eagle. We wish you good luck with your upcoming movie, Fatherhood. Which is expected to be released on the third of April, twenty twenty. Of course, everyone waits for Kevin Hart new comedy all year round. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.